Driving, operating heavy equipment, performing surgery, playing Sudoku are not advised while listening to this podcast. The Modern Art Museum of Your Mind from a Muse's Daydream. This is Jill Badonsky. just got a brochure in the mail I sent away for from the Modern Art Museum of Your Mind. It's in a big periwinkle envelope decorated in pressed bougainvillea and confetti. Opening it, the fragrance of jasmine is released and a fun little ditty plays. A woman starts talking to me and I suspect to you since this is a podcast. Hi, I'm glad you're here. Whoa, that sounds like me. I'm glad I'm here too. Excellent. Let's get started. Arrive in a space of calm and ready yourself to be delivered to a daydream where you may emerge a little fiercer in your dedication to creativity and a little freer from the shackles that bind you. That would be nice. Or you may be so distracted that you hear none of what I'm saying because your mind is on a loop about what someone said on Twitter, irritation from leaf blowers, or whether to have a chicken salad or a taco for lunch. I was thinking a shrimp louis would be nice. I don't think shrimp louis is good for your cholesterol issue. You might consider a salmon salad instead. But it's all okay. Invite everything into this space and make the space big. Arrange your body according to what it's telling you it needs. Breathe in a relaxing breath and imagine an elixir of tranquility filling your whole body. An elixir of tranquility with a twist of kindness and let go, sinking into that tranquility and kindness as if it were a marinade. And if that's tough, just crack the door open to a little bit more tranquility and kindness and keep breathing this way. If your mind wanders, welcome to the club. Humans have minds that wonder and just celebrate that you notice that it did wonder. Yeah, it wandered right over to the shrimp, Louie. Consider salmon. Let your thoughts continue as if they were chattering and be fascinated by all they're talking about as if you're eavesdropping at a cafe and your thoughts are at the next table. Just having a hankering for shrimp, Louie, for some reason. I don't think it has that much more cholesterol than salmon, do you? I don't know, I heard salmon's much better for you than shrimp. Might consider. Be curious, compassionate. Notice that some of your distractions decided to take a train to New York City. They will come back. Shift your attention to the present, where the breath is still tranquil and kind. You may need to do that over and over. It's just a natural part of meditating. And meditating is a natural part of setting up the conditions for creativity. We're practicing going deeper into our inside. And in the inside, that's where the creativity makes itself known. Now step aboard the daydream tram to the daydream destination. I don't have a ticket. None needed. Arrive at a hill deep green with grass and well landscaped with lilacs, lilies, and roses that are so vibrant and healthy it takes your breath away. It's a beautifully cared for white sidewalk leads you to the majestic art museum on top of the hill. 
Feel yourself walk effortlessly closer and see the elaborately decorated doors. Doors decorated with luminous pearls, opals, abalone. And among the jewels is a peephole to look into the museum. And as you peek through it, you see a kaleidoscope with colors you never knew about, dancing with the reds, orange, yellows, greens, blues, and indigos you've always known. The doors open on their own, and as they do, a fresh breeze that has the essence of forest sage and wild honeysuckle washes over you. The ceilings are high, windows floor to ceiling, and the floor is a beautiful white marble. A man in a bowler hat gives you a pair of comfortable slippers to walk through the museum in. And a woman, looking a lot like Mona Lisa, serves you a cappuccino. Uh, yeah, but... The slippers are new, so no one has ever worn them before. Oh, okay, good. Feel the comfort of your feet sinking into the padded slippers and slowly walking across the floor, feeling as if you're a little younger. Feel the smooth foam of the cappuccino kiss your lips as you sip. There's a fountain with a statue of you as a child throwing flowers in a well. Take a moment and enjoy it just five seconds longer than you might have done when you were in that automatic trance humans can get into. Your thoughts are art in this museum. Here's your thought about Shrimp Louie as a painting Rembrandt might have painted. Rich and darks and depth. Now it's changing into a Van Gogh. Oh, lots of brush strokes. Now a Matisse. Bright colors, reds and yellows. You push a button on the painting of Shrimp Louie and you hear your stomach growling. It might have been a belly button. And now the painting turns into a lovely salmon salad painted by Gauguin. Okay, okay, I'll have a salmon salad as long as it's in the French Polynesia where Gauguin used to paint. No problem. It'll be the next trip on the daydream tram. So come over here to this empty room and think of some thought from your inner critic, the restless tyrant. It might not be words, it might be a feeling like you're not good enough, or doing enough, or doing enough good enough. Or it might be a thought like, I can't do this, or it's already been done, or others are better than me. Look at everything out there, I can't do all that. Okay, I'll pick. You're never going to get to all those creative things that you want to do. Good one. Now... What would this thought look like if it were an abstract sculpture? It may have occupied your mind for a long time, so invite it to be an artistic creation outside of you, here in this museum. Take a moment to see what it looks like. Let this critical thought design itself as art right in front of you. Now walk around it and simply be curious or amazed or meditative, but removed from its power. It's spiny and black and has arrows and the kind of stickers that you get in your feet and it's got ugly mirrors and a stomping noise that sounds like a machine in 
in a factory. Give it a name. I think I'll call it the Skull Machine. Fascinating. Watch your sculpture without judgment, just curiosity. And then notice your disparaging thought in this art installation gradually, very gradually, begins to turn into butterflies. Watch as this metamorphosis happens. Parts that have been there for years are beginning to slowly materialize to these soft, colorful, flying marvels. Feel a state of wonder at this daydream's power to transform. Breathe with this wonder. Let your breath be wonder. Now watch as a big window in the art museum opens and all of the butterflies that were your critical thought fly out. them go in the distance. At least for a few seconds, this thought is no longer one that pressures you. One of the butterflies has stayed behind and lights upon your hand, and as it does, your whole body relaxes, and your mind and intuition trust that you will get to what you need to in just the right time, and with greater enjoyment. Awesome. Sure, the critical thought or feeling may come back, but don't worry about that now. Some of it has left and is now fertilizing the flowers outside the museum. That's why they're so vibrant. If it comes back and you catch it, just set it free again like you would a butterfly. Okay, you can close the brochure now and go back and have some coffee and write something. So all of a sudden I'm back at home at my table with coffee and writing this. Our imaginations are underused as conduits of change. They have the power to relax us, amuse, and transport us to desired destinations, both literally and figuratively. We can reach these destinations, these possibilities, in a daydream. You can follow art, musings, and new episodes on Amuse's Daydream Instagram. Find workshops, trainings for your creative growth at kaizenmuse.com, and you can find these links in the show notes. Subscribe to Amuse's Daydream at iTunes or your favorite podcast app. Be good to yourself. Stay safe. salmon with a side of shrimp louis.